Hello and welcome to this Film in 5 review from More Movies. My name is Greg Fisher and in this video I'm going to be talking about the 1945 film noir romantic drama Leave Her to Heaven, which was directed by John M. Stahl and stars Gene Tierney, Cornell Wilde, Gene Crane and Vincent Price. Just a warning that I will be talking about the story and other elements of the film, so if you still haven't seen this one, consider this a spoiler alert. I guess I'll be going now. This is a movie that subverts all expectations, rejects the norms of the genre, and presents a dazzling veneer of opulence and perfection, which is in fact hiding a deep chasm of jealousy, obsession, and pure madness. Shot in glorious Technicolor by Academy Award winner Leon Shamroy, this dazzling movie basks in the midst of dramatic locations and luscious interiors, all portraying an idyllic lifestyle in post-war America, where materialism is ubiquitous and the grandeur of existence is celebrated in every facet. How's that for an entrance? At the dark heart of the story is Ellen. Hello. Played by the incomparable Jean Tierney. Her style and astonishing beauty, much like the lavish settings, hide dark secrets that are anything but resplendent and beautiful. She dominates her mother and her cousin Ruth, and we discover she has an abnormal fixation with her late father. Despite her dazzling good looks and impeccable style, she's a deeply troubled individual. Ellen always wins. At the beginning of the story, Ellen meets handsome and successful author Richard, played by Cornell Wilde. They strike up a conversation on the train to New Mexico, and it doesn't take long for Ellen to mention that Richard reminds her of her father. Before he knows it, Richard finds himself in the midst of Ellen's world, and is quickly swept up in a whirlwind of scandalous revelations and awkward propositions. Will you marry me? The couple are soon married, and despite the tumultuous and impulsive beginnings of their relationship, all seems well. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Ellen's love for Richard is extremely possessive, leading her to take disturbing actions to ensure he remains devoted to her and only her. Ellen's actions spiral into a series of tragic and shocking events as she becomes increasingly controlling and manipulative, endangering the lives of everyone close to the couple. As these tragedies manifest, we discover a character who is deeply depraved and dangerous, despite her devotion to her beloved husband. But ultimately, Ellen is a pitiful figure, powerless to control her wicked indifference to the pain of others. Her only master is a monstrous jealousy of anyone who receives the attention or affection of Richard. Leave Her to Heaven is not a typical noir, but it does evolve the genre. It's a psychological thriller that takes the story away from the usual tropes of film noir. This movie is not set in a seedy underworld of crime and inner city shadows. It takes place in broad daylight, beneath sunny blue skies and the crashing waves on the coast. The characters are not career criminals, but instead they are successful professionals and socialites that are far removed from the dark streets of Los Angeles. Often cited as the first noir to be shot in colour, a blurring of genres results in a unique and exceptional movie with Jean Tierney's desolate Ellen Berent at the centre. Due to her spellbinding beauty, Tierney is often overlooked as one of the great Hollywood actors. But in this movie, she depicts one of cinema's most complex and destructive characters, an atypical femme fatale, whose motivation is complete possession of her husband, and her only flaw is that she loves too much. There's nothing wrong with Ellen. It's just that she loves too much. Cornell Wilde and Jean Crane are both perfectly cast in their roles, and the magnificent Vincent Price is excellent as Ellen's jilted lover and would-be legal avenger. The costume designed by Kay Nelson is nothing short of perfect, portraying an extravagant and extremely stylish society, which reinforces the illusion of well-being and success, hiding a deep vein of sinister wickedness. The score by Alfred Newman is suitably dramatic and sweeping, complementing the incredible art design and glorious backdrops. Leave Her to Heaven is a masterclass in subterfuge and subversion, directed by a master of melodrama, John M. Stahl. Despite its reversal of typical noir motifs and tropes, this tragic tale sits perfectly amongst the very best examples in the film noir genre, and viewers witnessing the tragic unraveling of Ellen Berrin cannot help but feel pity and sorrow for this grievous goddess, despite her deplorable crimes. Are you in love with Ruth? 
We're very good friends. Are you in love with her? I'm very fond. I want you to answer yes or no. I'm asking you a very simple question. Well, that's it for this review. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the video. And hopefully I'll catch you again on another Film in 5 from more movies. So what did you think of Leave it to Heaven? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe right here on YouTube. For more of our articles and reviews, check out our website, moremovies.co.uk and join us on social media at moremovies for you. If you've enjoyed this video and are in a position to help, please consider making a donation at buymeacoffee.com or join us on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. And for more filmtastic videos from us, check out one of the links on screen now.